G'day everyone. Welcome to another video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. This is a new one for me. I've been authorised by our local telephone company to pop open the lid of a communications pit and uh, move a swarm of bees that have set up home in there. So I really don't know what I'm going to find in here, um, but I'm all ready to extract the honeycomb and uh, tie it into some frames and get it into a box and uh, see how we go. But I'll take you over and have a look. It's amazing where these little guys will set up shop. And of course that little pit there is absolutely perfect. So I'll set this camera up somewhere where I can keep an eye on me. And um, we'll give them a little bit of a go. Show you what we're dealing with here. So I know I've got brood frame down there, it's a fair chance the queen's down in there. their comb be as gentle as I can so I'm disturbing the bees as little as possible with a bit of luck the queen will actually stay on one of these combs and end up in the in the new hive these rubber bands will just hold it for a little while till they get used to their new home and then they'll they will um, attach it all and they'll actually chew away these rubber bands and get rid of them. Going forward, you can see down near my, I don't know if you can see down my right hand here, there's actually some grubs that I had to cut through to get this piece to fit in, but I'm just doing my best to get as much of this in the hive box as I can. They've been pretty, pretty well behaved all things considered. Seen a lot of drones in there. Haven't seen mama yet, but a lot of bees here. I'm glad I made some extra frames. <laughs> the other thing that's important is to orientate the comb as it was in the hive. Just trying to cut the minimal amount make it fit. I said, I've seen this done on YouTube a few times, talked to a few people, this is my first go. She's got some beautiful, I'll tell you what, she's a good queen. There's plenty of brood in here. There's, 
theory I've got. Unfortunately, I have to cut this to make it fit and I've just got to make a call and there's so much brood in here. And if I destroy a few, it's just collateral damage, unfortunately. So I'm just hoping that I get the queen because there's better part of 40,000 bees here and uh, I'm not going to find her. I'm just not going to find her. They're already uh, calming down in there. Hopefully I can get a, a nice frame of pre-made wax in there for them. Some people do this without gloves on. Not this, not this camper. Oh, that's going in beautiful. And whoever came up with the idea to use rubber bands, you're a legend. It's a great idea. It works so well. Local post office actually gave me a fistful of rubber bands for free, which was nice. As you can see, it just holds it in place beautifully. I said my only hope is that I get the queen. There's a really old comb, so that's the that's the original part of the hive. So they started down in this down in this back corner. You can see how that's old and used and hasn't been re. There's still a lot of bees in there. Okay, you might have seen me do a little happy dance there. Oh, well, hello, Mr. B or Mrs. B. Because I'm just watching some behaviour here at the hive entrance. And the bees are starting the procession. And that's what I wanted to see because I am pretty confident I've got the one bee that we needed to catch out of all of these 40,000 bees. And that is Mama Bee. She's in there. Look at that. That was very lucky and uh, there's a few YouTube channels that I've been watching on how to do this and I owe you a big one because I've learnt a lot and the way to do it so just by keeping nice and calm and gentle and keeping those bees on those combs 
Queenie was actually on one of those combs that I put in there. Mm -hmm. So over the next few hours, these bees are all going to make their way into there, into their new home, start setting up shop. I have noticed one little problem though. I haven't got a door on this beehive, so mm -hmm. later when I come back, I'm going to have to um, work out a way to seal that off. Otherwise I'm going to have a boot full of bees. Okay, just to show you in here now, I've been using my smoker just to encourage these guys out. And as you can see, they've all fanned up onto this and realise that Queenie's inside here. And we've just had a beautiful bee procession just come all the way up there. It was like a wave of bees. And they're all making their way into there now. Also seeing some fanning behaviour. So those are the bees that are sitting there fanning their wings. They've got their rear end up in the air. And they're sending out a, a chemical signal to the bees that are around. As you can see, they're all just trying to pile into that new home. So inside there, I've got as much of their original comb as I possibly could. And I've also given them two new frames on the outside, which they will get to. Uh, but this is a very large colony and it's going to need a super on top pretty quick because these guys are, are going to fill this box really quickly. I do have one little problem. I haven't got a door on this hive for some reason, so I'm going to have to work out a way to uh, close that door when I come back. I'm going to let this sit here for the rest of the day and just give these guys a chance to make their way in and all the other bees that are out gathering. Uh, there's still a lot more bees to come home and come back to this swarm, so this is going to be a very big, strong colony. Super pleased. And my very first cutout I must say, I'm a little bit proud of myself. Well guys, uh, a few hours later, we've let the beehive sit here outside the uh, Telstra pit. And uh, I was pretty confident I got the queen in there. I'm just having a look over now. There's hardly any bees in the area. It looks like they're all gone back into the hive. Um, look, there's gonna be a few stragglers around, a few workers are still out there, uh, but I've got to seal it up now and uh, take it back to the property. Um, as I said, we tried to do our best to make sure we get, uh, you know, 90% of the hive. I'm pretty confident I've got that many. Uh, we've collected uh, probably 90% of the honeycomb in there. So there's plenty of their brood and plenty of their honey stocks. So they've actually got uh, everything they need in there to just continue doing what they're doing. And now they'll be doing it onto foundation and within a managed hive and won't have the risk of impacting on the environment. So let's just have a little bit of a look before I seal them up. see there's hardly any in the pit and uh, just a few coming and going with the hive so I'm just going to uh, put my uh, gloves on and seal that up as I said I did realize I made a mistake I actually haven't got a door on that one there so I'm just going to have to uh, jam it full of something and uh, actually a few bees coming back still so I might just give them a few more minutes just to go but as you can see they're basically returning flying in and just going straight into home so already they're uh, it's their new home already they're uh, they're very happy with it which is great mm -hmm. 